Hey, what's up YouTube? Back with your boy Luke. Guys, check this out. Today's video is going to be about the Vermont loophole. As you can see today, I received my official Vermont license plates in the mail and my official registration in the mail from the state of Vermont. I'm going to tell you exactly what the Vermont loophole is and how you can use it to your advantage. All right, guys, check this out. What the Vermont loophole is, is it allows you to register a car or truck in your name. Doesn't matter what state you're in, you can register it. They'll send you a registration and license plates in your name. And they'll even do this if you have no real previous proof of ownership, okay? So in my case, and in your case too, if you don't have a title, no big deal. They'll still issue you this paperwork. You don't have a registration, no big deal. They'll still hook you up. You don't have proof of insurance, you don't have a smog, no big deal, they'll still hook you up. Guys, all this is done by mail, okay? It's super easy, you only need three sheets of paper, and I'll tell you exactly how to do it. Before I do that, guys, I wanna say that Vermont's DMV is known as America's DMV in the car business because it's very easy to do business with them, and you can do business via US mail, and they'll send you all the stuff you need, just like they did me in a couple of weeks. Okay, guys, so if you have a car or truck and you don't have a title to it or whatever, as long as it's at least 15 years old or older, you're probably not going to have a problem, okay? That is the requirement, though. It has to be 15 years or older. If that's the case, guys, what you need is you need three sheets of paper. Number one, you need a bill of sale. How simple is that, okay? It can be a handwritten bill of sale, and it's got to have your information as the buyer, the seller's information, and the vehicle information, specifically the year, make, model, and VIN number in the bill of sale. Number two, you got to go to the Vermont DMV website and print up the application for registration, right? You want to register the car, you got to print up the application. It's a very simple one page registration form. A lot of the same questions that's on the bill of sale is going to be on that. Who's the buyer? Who's the seller? What's the VIN number? Okay, you're making model of the car also. Guys, number three, they're gonna require, of course, they're gonna wanna collect their sales tax, so you have to go to nada.com, you have to print up the book value of your car. Now, the book value gave me three values. It gave me a retail, a wholesale, and a trade-in. I circled trade-in, right, the lowest value, and sales tax is gonna be 6%. I sent them a US money order, all right? so. It cost me a total of a $76 registration fee plus 6%. So a total of $256 and they sent me license plates and a registration to a pickup truck that I had absolutely no proof of ownership for. I had lost the title. The title never was even in my name and I lost it years ago and I finally had to get something done about this. I sent them those three sheets of paper they sent me back the registration and the license plates. Now, at this point, you have two options. You can drive around with your Vermont registration and license plates. Now, different states have different laws. A lot of states require that you, if you're gonna live there permanently, that you re-register the car in your state. Now, whether you're a dual resident or you do a lot of, that's on you, I'm not even gonna get into that. But here's what you can do. You can either keep the Vermont license plates on the car and continue to drive with that, or you can walk into your local DMV office, hand them the Vermont registration and the Vermont license plates, surrender that, and they will give you a registration for that state and license plates for that state. And chances are, maybe not right then, but they will print you up a title and mail that to you also. Now, the new state's probably gonna require a new set of fees, right? Because that's what states do. They're always wanting money. But that's how you can do it. Myself, personally, I'm just gonna drive around with the Vermont license plates for a while, and then I'll deal with the rest of it later. So, I wanted to make this video quick. I wanted to make it to the point. It was super easy. The only real rule is the car has to be 15 years old or older. Now, some off-road vehicles, four-wheelers, side-by-sides don't qualify. Some dirt bikes don't qualify. Some trailers don't qualify. And some boats don't qualify. But it's going to be on you to do your own homework and figure out that for yourself, okay? I can't do that. I just wanted to share my experience and how the process was super easy and how it helped me. 
Salvage title's okay, clean title's okay. Every now and again, the Vermont DMV, this wasn't the case with me, but every now and again, the Vermont DMV will require a then verification. If this is the case with you, when you send them all this stuff, they will mail you a then verification form that you have to get filled out and send it back to them before they send you the license plates and registration, but it's really not that big of a deal. All right, guys, hit me up in the comments section below. If you have any questions, you can email me. I'd be glad to try to help you. Um, I'll really help you. I'll even do the forms for you if you'll make a small donation to my YouTube channel. Not a big deal, okay? I don't mind hooking you guys up. All right, guys, smash that like and subscribe button if you hadn't already done it. Any other questions you have, let me know. Check out my other videos too. I talk about Mexico. I talk about beaches. I talk about bars. I talk about girls. I talk about all kinds of things. Maybe you'll find some videos that you like, all right? Well, guys, until then, we'll see you down the road. And I hope this video helps you.